Hi everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel where I talk about stocks, investing and the stock market. I post videos daily so if this sounds like something you want to get more of, subscribe down below. Alright, in today's video I'm going to talk about if Nvidia's stock is a buy. I'm sure that's a question on a lot of your minds so stay tuned you'll get the answer by the end of the video. I'm going to use my simplified six step framework to analyze this question. All right, the first step in my framework is customer value. Nvidia offers innovative technology enabling greater computing processing power. Its graphic processing units sold to gamers are expensive, they're premium prices comparatively. I mean, if you wanted to game on the computer buying one of NVIDIA's GPUs it would it would cost you several hundred dollars at least comparatively you could buy a gaming console which is also a few hundred dollars um, you could get lower priced gaming consoles instead of buying NVIDIA's gaming process graphic processing units for gaming on the computer that said revenue has increased from 4.3 billion to 26.7 billion in the previous decade that's evidence that even though their products are expensive on the premium side, consumers are finding excellent value in those products. Otherwise, purchases wouldn't have expanded by that much. The next step in my framework is unit e economics. And NVIDIA creates difficult to replicate technology which allows it to sell its products at premium prices. So because it's so difficult to create these products Nvidia is one of the few companies that sells these things and they're able to get premium prices for it their gross profit margin averaged 59.4 percent over the last decade which is excellent for a hardware company operating profit exploded from 648 million to 10 billion in that same time The next step in my framework considers the total addressable market or the market opportunity the company faces. NVIDIA's chips are used for gaming, artificial intelligence, autonomous driving, robotics, augmented and virtual reality, all massive and growing expanding industries. According to Grandview Research, the global video game market alone generated an estimated 195 billion in sales in 2021 and it's expected to grow at a compound annual rate of 12.9 percent over the next eight years. McKinsey estimates that the metaverse industry could generate 5 trillion in sales by 2030 and I expect Nvidia's GPUs to be widely used in processing all that computing power needs for the metaverse. The next step in my framework is competition and for Nvidia its its competitors are not competing on price so they're not trying to undercut each other by offering a lower price or promotions and things like that to get the get purchases instead the rivalry is focused on innovation who can create the next best thing who can create a better a better GPU that offers better processing power improved graphics the competition is based on cutting edge technology and not on price. The next step is valuation and for Nvidia the stock is not cheap. It's trading at a price to earnings ratio of 43 and a price to free cash flow of 53. The stock has been more expensive in recent years of uh, reaching a P.E. ratio above 100 um, in the last two years and a price to free cash flow over 120. But looking back over the last five years, it's right about at its averages uh, before it exploded after the pandemic. Um, so relatively speaking, it's not cheap. It's about at its average average r price, but also absolute speaking on absolute terms not relative terms uh, price to earnings of 43 is not cheap the 
The final step in my framework are risks. And NVIDIA is facing several risks, um, one of which is, is the fact that revenue outside of the U.S. accounted for 70% of its revenue in its most recent quarter. And governments are restricting, are, be, are becoming more restrictive in what it allows NVIDIA to sell to other countries. In fact, it restricted sales to Russia and China uh, and the sales reduction or the elimination of sales to China could cost Nvidia 400 million in revenue in its next quarter and so there's the risk that more countries could follow restrictions on more countries could follow additionally significant investments in developing next generation technology which may not get enough time on the market to generate a return on investment so NVIDIA is constantly investing in the next best thing, the next technology. And every time it does that, it replaces the previous technology that it put into the market. So if it's investing billions in new technology and it's only remaining on the market for a short amount of time, then it's not, gen it's not getting enough time on the market to bring in returns on that investment to develop the technology. Now you might say, why not leave it on the market for longer before developing the next best thing? And yes, in theory, Nvidia could do that, but then it would it would encounter another risk, with, which would be that a competitor develops that next best technology, which still renders its older technology obsolete. And so there's a constant battle, there's a constant risk to having to come up with the next best thing. and for that next best thing to not get enough time on the market to bring that return on the investment. And more closer, more immediately, NVIDIA is facing near-term headwinds. Revenue is forecasted to decline year over year in the next quarter. NVIDIA sales for NVIDIA boomed during the pandemic and so it ordered all of these extra inventory thinking that sales growth would continue but it has suddenly came to a halt and reversed and so now NVIDIA has all these excess inventories which, which is a risk they may need to lower prices to get that product off the shelf they may get stuck with that inventory we don't know how the extent of the losses for this excess inventory all right, now that we looked at each of the six steps in my framework, let's look at the grades I assigned NVIDIA for each step. So customer value, I gave NVIDIA an A, even though they were selling products at premium prices expensively. Customers find great value in its products. For a while there, during the pandemic, their GPUs were sold out, difficult to get, even though they were selling at premium prices. So customers find their products to be worthwhile or they're getting good good value for the money they're spending so I give them an A there unit economics I gave Nvidia an A plus one of the best uh, gross profit margins in the hardware space 60% average gross profit margins in the last decade that's excellent total addressable market again I gave them an A plus their market opportunity is massive whether it's gaming virtual reality, all the different areas they're participating in, massive markets that are growing and expanding and on the cutting edge. A plus there. Competition, I give them a B. This is because they're they're it's not in pricing competition, thankfully. That's that's um, arguably just as bad for investors but their their competition is based on developing the next best technology or staying on the cutting edge of technology they risk getting leapfrogged and so i gave them a b there even though they're doing an excellent job staying near the top of the market there's still that risk that they could fall behind if their competitors improve on their processes uh, valuation i gave them a c plus the stock is not cheap trading expensively when measured by the price to earnings and price to free cash flow I gave them a C plus um, now I'll, I will add that the stock is expensive 
but it's because it's such an excellent business unit economics when you have gross profit margins at 60 percent and an operating profit is expanding so rapidly you have a massive total addressable market your company deserves a premium valuation however does it justify as much of a premium that nvidia is getting right now in the market i don't know i don't know that's why i would i would give it a c plus there risks for for nvidia i gave them a c plus here they're facing considerable risks both in the near term and in the long term the risks to their international sales could get even worse the near term risks due to macroeconomic headwinds already the next quarter forecast is for revenue to decline year over year so the risks are rising all right so the verdict nvidia is nvidia stock a buy i would say no it's on the borderline between a hold and a buy it's an excellent business great profits expanding exploding sales over the longer term however the near-term risks combined with the expensive valuation brings me lower on that optimism for the stock so i would say it's on the borderline all right so let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you liked what you saw, subscribe for more excellent videos like this. And I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beat the market by more than 250%. Go to fool.com slash Parkev to get your 10 stock picks now.